Right, we're on the trail of a lace finder. He's definitely around here somewhere. Um, we saw a couple of youngsters up in the campsite, but we're after the bigger ones. So GoPro's on my chest, just in case I see one. Press that, off I go. Might have to drop this thing, I was in the tree. But uh, let's go hunting laces. Other side. You got it, Luke! Here we go, guys. Oh man, he got me good on the wrist with these back claws. Dirty. Well, he was climbing up a um, very burnt off tree. Sorry, we got a first aid kit, we can sort you out once we've done the video. Oh, let me catch my breath first, guys. <laughs> oh, I don't think my GoPro was rolling, too. No, it's not. Oh well, that happens. So, what we have here, guys, is a lace wander. These guys are quite common across the eastern parts of Australia, so through Queensland, into New South Wales, kind of the top half of Victoria, and they kind of go into South Australia. These guys do grow up to about two metres, sometimes they can ex exceed that. Usually the big males do that, usually females only grow to one and a half metres. So this one here's probably a big boy. Uh, just having a look at his head. Sometimes you can tell by the shape of the head, and as well down by the base of the tail here, this is where all the male parts would be. So it'll be a bit, bit more of a bulge there, indicating it's a male. Another name these guys do have is called a tree goner. As you can see, they've got razor sharp claws on their feet, which helps them climb up any tree, even the gum branches. So it'll go straight up that, no drama. These guys will lay between six to 12 clutches of eggs, sorry, six to 12 eggs in a clutch, and usually take about nine months to incubate. The females will often lay them in termite nests for the incubation to be more consistent all year round. If they lay in the natural soil, just to keep an eye out for any other laces that come up behind me. If they lay in the natural earth, sometimes the eggs do die off from incubation because it's just warm enough in the soil to keep the eggs warm. Predators these guys have to watch out is mostly other model lizards. So a baby one of these will get eaten by this big fella here. Uh, these guys often do fall prey to birds of prey, feral cats and foxes and dingoes who prey on these guys too. Status are they're very common, especially in the natural parks. And these guys, and most goannas, have been discovered to have venom. So I'm quite thankful I won't get bitten by him. If it's a very mild venom, it will make me sick, but it won't kill me. But um, yeah, certainly something I do not want to get bitten by. Alright guys, it's release time. Ready buddy? Three, two, one. <laughs> so you just gotta sit there now, huh? If you have a to see one, you always give it a clear space. Don't get too close like I am. Or don't even think about picking it up. Because there's three things he can use to basically make you reconsider. First of all, it's the tail. He will whip you until you go black and blue. These claws are designed to go up trees, so if it comes up you, you're screwed. If he bites you, it's a trip to the hospital. They've got very sharp uh, fang, not fangs, teeth, and it can do some serious damage in no time flat. These guys will eat pretty much just about anything, ranging from mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, you name it, they'll eat it, including fingers. Um, so if you are camping guys, make sure you've got your food in a nice secure esky or in the car if it's close by, because these things will actually you can think about going now. Yep, up he goes. Up he goes. Beautiful animals, you've got to look after them while they're still here and just appreciate them from a safe distance. So I'll wrap up the video here, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all next time.